Hello, hello, Curvy Critic. Hey, Miss Cynthia. <laughs> hey, I see we both got the memo about what to wear for the interview. You, know, you got to give them a little something, not too much. <laughs> I love it, girl. I, I kept looking at you thinking that you looked familiar to me for some reason. And I remembered I saw you on Nashville. I loved you. I yes. loved you. That was my show, girl. I loved you on that, that show. That was a good show. That was a fun show. That and was I was good. glad to see some Black people. I, like, true talk. But anyway. Always, it, was, it, was, it was about a one per season ratio. I know. But I was you know. glad that I was able to, to be, to, to represent for us in, in, in season five or whatever that was. <laughs> girl, I was happy to see you there. I really was. I really, really was. So, I did. I enjoyed that show. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about the last days. Since yes. yeah oozes sexuality but yet she's really smart and she's she's really tough how much of her is in you <laughs> um Thank you. I- <laughs> I enjoyed um, reading Cynthia and playing Cynthia I think because it was one of the first times I've um, been able to occupy a character that allowed me to be um, a fuller version of myself to have my sensuality and my strength. Um, and my curiosity and intelligence and challenge all be in this person. I think more and more and more, um, fortunately, we are beginning to see that uh, the Black woman's voice, um, her narrative uh, is a story worth being told, and that there are so many varied ways to tell that story because we are so varied Um, And I think our experiences, our perspective, um, and the way that we inhabit and occupy a scene um, is beginning to really be valued in a way that it was not, Um, maybe even just five years ago. Uh, I know during the course of my career, it's I feel it so tangibly and I'm so grateful for it. So yes, um, I loved that uh, I found a lot of myself in Cynthia. Um, I I loved being able to play with all those parts. Um, It was very freeing and very exciting. (laughs) It was exciting to watch. It really, really was. You did a fantabulous job. Thank you so much. Oh, of course, sis. I know that this was written and based on a book by Walter Mosley. He's one of my favorite authors. So when was the last time? Well, not the last time. What is your favorite Walter Mosley book and or film? Oh, I mean, I think all of the Rollins, you know, I mean, Easy Rollins, all of, all of Easy Rollins. I mean, it's just, you know, what a um, fantastic uh, character. Um, and I think, you know, now, you know, it's like, the, I think, um, I feel like Sam says this. I feel like Sam always says this. Um, I, I, I feel like now am I stealing something that he said? And I've decided it was my own because I was about to quote him. And I was like, I think that's his. Um, that whatever his... Um, Girl, that, go ahead that, and run with it. Right, I would. Well, you say what your favorite <laughs> character is? I, I do. I thought I did say it before him, maybe. Uh, when people say what your favorite character is, and I always say it's the one I'm playing now, you know? And I believe Sam says the same thing. Um, and funny enough, now I feel like if you ask me what's my favorite Walter Mose, I mean, this book, this is. Because in reading it, it... it obviously informed the way that I played this character so much as well. But it's, I think, whatever your first, your most recent experience with an author, it's living in you, you know, in a very um, present and visceral way. So I feel like it's still just kind of in me, you know? So it's my favorite right now. (laughs) Okay, girl. And I know that you have an infinite love of travel, food, and wine. And as a consummate wine consumer myself, I need to know what your favorite type of wine is. Okay, at this very moment, it is a Montepulciano. I am in love with a Montepulciano. Um, I'm always going to be a fan of a red, though. Bottom line, I'm a red wine girl always till I die. I do not Me too. like wine. Yeah, it's not my thing. Um, you know, that, more love to you, uh, to the ladies who want to put a wine glass. Like wine to me is like, I think it's a beautiful thing for a summer day to look. It looks cute. It looks lovely. But I always, a red just feeds my soul. It calms me. It comforts me. It's lovely. Um, yes, Pinot Noir, my go-to. You know, Syrah uh, is when I'm feeling spicy. Uh, but my Montepulciano is my absolute favorite right now. And I generally, I think I love an Italian red. So you are my absolute favorite leading lady right now. I loved you, loved you, loved you in this limited series. And I'm looking forward to seeing even more solid grounded work from you in the future. Thank Thank you you so much for giving me a little bit of your time today. Absolutely. From your lips to God's ears, I hope you see me more often as well. Oh, it's going <laughs> to happen, sis. I look forward to talking to you again soon. It's going to happen. All right. <laughs> Thank bye you. now. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.